the jury believe Michael Cohen? That is the key question after day 18 of Trump's hush money trial here in New York and the third day with star witness Michael Cohen on the stand. It looks as though this entire trial could hinge on whether or not the jury believe Trump's former lawyer and fixer turned foe. Now, during cross-examination, Trump's attorney Todd Blanche repeatedly accused Cohen of lying. He attacked his credibility relentlessly and insinuated that Cohen was making it all up to get revenge on Trump. Now, Trump's lawyer really focused in particular on an October 2016 phone call that Cohen said he had with Trump to discuss the Stormy Daniels matter. Cohen had said that he called Trump's bodyguard's phone that day and spoke to Trump. Now, Blanche argued that Cohen was lying and that actually he'd called Trump's bodyguard to complain about a 14-year-old boy who'd been prank-calling him. Trump's lawyer argued that in a 1 minute 26 second long call, there would not have been time for Cohen to also speak to Trump about the Stormy Daniels deal. Earlier on this week, the prosecution used Cohen's testimony backed up with evidence, phone logs and documents to argue their case. Trump's accused of falsifying business records to reimburse Cohen for a $130,000 hush money payment to former adult film star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. And on Thursday, uh, Trump spoke yet again outside the courtroom, calling the trial politically motivated. He was joined in court by several members of the far-right U.S. House of Representatives Freedom Caucus. They echoed Trump's complaint that the trial is rigged. Now, whilst Cohen certainly came across as a very slippery character in court, it doesn't mean that the jury's going to believe that he's lying about the key facts, because what he said was corroborated by other witnesses and by evidence. So prosecutors may win this case against Trump, but even if they do, it's unlikely that Trump will actually end up serving any jail time, and he can still run for president even if he's a convicted felon. The trial will resume on Monday.